Hello everyone, this is Adam Shoemaker, rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. I hope that you are well on this Monday afternoon and that you had a very good weekend. As we continue to journey through the Psalms, I am here to pray with you today um, with Psalm number 31. Psalm number 31 which is a psalm that offers prayer and praise to God for deliverance from our enemies. So hear now these words from Psalm number 31. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your namesake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that, that, that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You hate those who pay regard to worthless idols but I trust in the Lord. I will exult and rejoice in your steadfast love. Because you have seen my affliction, you have taken heed of my adversities and have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away with grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery, and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. Do not let me be put to shame, O Lord, for I call on you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go dumbfounded to Sheol. Let the lying lips be stilled that speak insolently against the righteous with pride and contempt. Oh, how abundant is your goodness that you have laid up for those who fear you and accomplished for those who take refuge in you in the sight of everyone. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from human plots. You hold them safe under your shelter from contentious tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me. When I was beset as a city under siege, I had said in my alarm, I am driven far from your sight, but you heard my supplications when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all you saints of his. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. A sentiment for our times as we continue to make our way through this upending season of life with everything uh, swirling around us, the continuing ravages of the coronavirus, uh, economic uh, distress, wildfires in the western states of our country, racial injustice, in unrest in our streets, division as we head into a presidential season, there is so much going on and I 
am mindful that this is taking its toll. And so we need to turn back to God. We need to heed the words of this psalm, psalm number 31, that invites us to love the Lord, for the Lord preserves the faithful. A psalm that invites us to be strong and to let our heart take courage as we continue day by day in faith to wait upon the Lord. Deacon Greg will be with you tomorrow to uh, pray using Psalm number 32. In the meantime, be safe, be well, wear your mask, and you keep the faith.